the addition of a new biomarker and a new therapy is is really a, a big addition for the field of gastroesophageal cancer. You know, we haven't had a new biomarker really in quite some time. We've had HER2, PDL1, and mismatch repair status, you know, emerge as as really the standard biomarkers, but we haven't moved beyond that in, in several years. Uh, so the addition of identification of a new biomarker uh, that's linked to a new therapy is is really um, a big move for our patients. I think it uh, obligates us, us, of course, to test for this for everybody to understand um, if they may be a candidate for zolbituximab. And then it it really gives us more tools. And, and ultimately, you know, the more agents we have uh, for our patients, the more opportunities to expose them to active therapies. Um, usually the better the outcomes. Uh, and so I think broadly, it's a big step. Zolbituximab is, is a monoclonal antibody against uh, Claudin 18.2. And the primary mechanism of action is thought to be um, ADCC and CDCC. So antibody dependent cytotoxic cellular cytotoxicity. Um, and complement-dependent cytotoxicity. And these are mechanisms that are shared by many monoclonal antibodies. There's also been um, preclinical and, of course, clinical support for the idea that the monoclonal antibody may cooperate well with cytotoxic chemotherapy. And that was sort of largely the basis for launching uh, some of the larger phase three trials and, and, and the earlier phase two trials that ultimately led to the phase three programs.